Hey, hey, ladies and gents, it's pretty sexy because it's semi-final time. Let's find the button. Here we go. Pitch is coming up, and there we are. And hello, good evening, welcome from Australia. This is Hell Let Loose on Nobbers Channel, and I am presenting for you tonight the semi-finals of the Hell Let Loose Competitive Association. This time we've got Chimera playing off against IR, and we're going to have a look at that in a second. We're just... um. They're just getting set up now. I can see uh, in the game there's 45, 41 of player count. So they're just getting their final players up now. Uh, it is on the Singapore Chimera server. So the ping's looking about even here. Probably a little bit unfavorable towards the Oceanic players being Chimera. Uh, but not by much. It really doesn't make much difference. Well, I'll talk about that in a minute. Anyway, how did we get here to the semifinals with these two teams? Well, first of all, I'll just point out the fact that Chimera picked Axis or they've rolled Axis tonight and uh, IR have rolled allies, so that's what the sides will be on. But the interesting part I wanted to point out to you is this bit here. We'll probably turn that music down a little bit, can't we? Uh, this is the standings based on um, whatever it was as of last weekend. I didn't cast a match last weekend for this. Um, I think the last one I did was with Pepper a couple of weeks ago. It's really good. But um, you can see there the uh, major standings, of course, uh, that's where they got to. But we're more interested in the minor standings here tonight with this particular match. And Chimera made it after losing the first match in the HC, uh, HCA way back when it was, and I think they lost against Sesh by, from memory, uh, Chimera uh, ended up getting on the top of the table by 10 wins and one loss. Uh, Sesh have got there in second place with nine wins and two losses, and IR with eight wins and three losses. They're all, they've all played a th 11 games. Uh, GX5 and Net Alpha have played 12. Of course, there you can see the others down the bottom. But this is uh, top, top three teams here. Uh, one and three playing off tonight. This is going to be a ripper of a match, folks. Uh, two very different teams, mind you, and how they actually play. Two very, very different teams in how they play. Uh, so I'm really looking forward to seeing what actually happens there. Of course, we saw in the NRNS last night uh, a free para and OC play off against each other. For those that don't know what the NRNS is, it's the No Retreat, No Surrender uh, tournament that's being run in the Oceanic region. And uh, it has some of the Chinese teams in it as well as the Oceanic teams. So, um, uh, that's a pretty good comp and what a ball terror of a match last night was literally went down to the last two minutes so it was at that two minute mark that we finally worked out who was actually going to win that one uh incredible match incredible match i'm expecting something similar here tonight now you'll see uh we'll get rid of that stuff there in the background you can see we're flying over Carantan at the moment uh and that's where we're fighting today so we know Carantan is quite a challenging map to play on and I'll just bring up this thing here. Let's, uh, it's, of course, it's not in the right spot. Thanks very much for that uh, shit editing. Let's bring that down a little bit and across into here. There we go. Don't know why that moved off by itself, but it's come back to us now. Thanks, Obs, for that. Uh, Carentone in particular, if we have a look at uh, the three in the middle there, Canal Crossing, Town Centre and Train Station, uh, three very different points to fight over. Train Station's probably my favourite simply because it's got open terrain and, and buildings to work around. Town Centre, of course, source of many a brutal battle for the um, uh, for the Hell at Loose community, and uh, I don't think it's going to be any exception tonight if that's the one they roll. And Canal Crossing can be uh, can roll pretty quick uh, either way. It depends on how the teams attack that one. So they're the first three points that you need to concentrate on as the match goes. But then, of course, from there, it's down to wherever these other points are. And we'll talk about those once we get to that stage, of course. Um, who do I think is going to win this tonight? Well, the poll says that Chimera are the favourites by a fair bit. Uh, if I pull that poll up, let's see, uh, 51 votes to 5. But I think teams vote themselves. 
So maybe Chimera were just more active in voting. I'm not sure. Or maybe maybe 51 or 49 or 50 IR players were bungeoned in Chimera. Ah, who knows? Who knows? I think it's going to be a pretty even match. I I can't call it, I'm afraid. I, I cannot tell you right now who I think is going to win this one. And that's not me hedging my bets or anything like that. I genuinely don't know who's going to win this one. Both teams are pretty good. I think Chimera's beaten IR before from memory. But don't quote me on that. You're not allowed to cut that and use it as a quote. Um, I just think they have beaten them before. But I also have seen plenty of IR matches where they've beat, beaten Oceanic teams. And part of the reason why the, the Chinese clans tend to do pretty well is, um, of which I are the Chinese clan, by the way, is that they are more deliberate in the way they play. They tend to be more re reserved and they work very well as a squad and a team. So you'll see squads moving together in some sort of cohesion. Whether they're doing that deliberately or just by default, or if there's safety in numbers, who knows? We can't get inside their heads. But um, certainly they are a pretty damn good team. And Comera, of course, you've watched my streams, you've seen me tracking these guys for quite a long time. So. Uh, uh, you know, th they're a very good team from where they came from to where they are now. If they get their combined arm stuff happening, uh, then Chimera will be incredibly hard to beat. That's how I read them in this. If if and and I are same thing though. They'll if they get their combined arms working, it's depending on whichever team actually gets their shit in one side. That's how you read it. So we're at fifty to forty four at the moment uh, on this uh, waiting point. And we're just going to see what's going on here. I'm just looking because it's now past time. I'm assuming that IR are just struggling to get some of their players to actually log on. So, yeah, I'd be interested to see. Uh, there we go. So, yeah, there we go. Looks like they're just waiting. Uh, yeah, I'm just checking that information. All right, so Chimera are all good to go here, by the way, just in case you're wondering what I'm actually looking at. I'm looking at the main battle screen here. We could probably bring that up for you so you can see what's going on. Let's go across to that one. It does get rid of our jazz music, of course. Oh, I better put me um, sound on into the match. There we go. So that's the Chimera team, good to go there. I suppose we can take a moment and just take a look. I haven't got the two screen thing for you tonight, I'm sorry. Uh, Critical Fails, the other streamer tonight, he hasn't got great internet and so he's unable to share his screen and uh, so I can't get the two map thing. I'm a bit disappointed in that, but, you know, it, it is what it is because um, I do love to have the two maps up side by side so we can actually tell what's going on on both teams at the same time. Uh, the other parts are, um, of course, that... Oh, God. The other part, of course, is that we don't actually know... Um, of course, what what's happening on the other team unless we're actually looking at them directly. So that's a bit of a, a challenge for a streamer when we've got one stream. Uh, but, uh, you know, if you're clever and you've got reasonable internet, have critical fails in um, match running off to the side in another window or something, and you'll be able to actually watch the two streams at the same time, even though we're not connected in casting or anything like that. Uh, a bit of, bit of lazy rocket practice going on there, I reckon, by Chimera. We're just watching here. Still 46 to 50. All right, so let's talk about the teams themselves and have a bit of a look through these groups while we're waiting, and we'll, we'll just watch for that 46 to go to 50 up there in the corner. So uh, all the regular um, culprits here on the Chimera team, particularly PT is free, uh, very, very, very good player. Uh, Hidden in Shadow, another one there, Mr. Good Player. I mean, most of these folks are pretty good by this stage, of course. Uh, squad, other squads to look out for Fox Squad there, of course. See the tankers here. We've got Easy Squad there. Uh, so one tank group at least. Uh, what else have we got? Heavenly, always defensive squad. So you'll see people switch back across to her in defense when they need to. Uh, some attacking squads here. Jam Squad, all those. An attacking squad. That's Furor. Oh, there'll be Artori most likely. I definitely see him on Artori most of the time. So I'll expect that again. Uh, Hala will be sort of rolling around, I reckon, in the uh, attack line as well. Mav, definitely an attack group. That's definitely an attack squad there. And look at the numbers here, Kanashi and Mav, Jinx and Spherical. They're all very, very good players there. Kingsley's uh, tank squad there with Yager and Vibe, pretty good tank squad there. Uh, they can overextend sometimes, those boys, but uh, 
when they are on point, they are doing very, very well in that tank. Uh, so no slumps in there. And of course, there's another light vehicle of some sort there for no shot and talk. They are only two man, but they do pretty well as a two man crew. So that's good work. Uh, looking across to IR, there's a couple of familiar names here, but not really many. Uh, 933 seems familiar there. Um, I think Traptrix Lily as well might have been a familiar name. Uh, I don't know. Oz Shatlet, uh, Sheltet. Uh, Iceberg, I've seen that name before somewhere. And not a lot of familiar names. M9 no 3 yeah, that's uh, that's one I've seen before too as well. But most of, um, here's a clever name for you, salt of sodium chloride, nice work. Uh, most of these names here are either in Mandarin or in the equivalent of whatever it is, or are names that I haven't seen before. So we'll be kind of a bit in the blind here. 933 OVO, OVO though, is someone I've definitely seen before. Um, and 303 I think I have as well, actually. So yeah, we'll be a little bit blind though as to who's who in the zoo there, but if we look at just by comparison numbers uh, for the gameplay that they've had, everybody here is at least 150 plus except for one or two people. Uh, Chimera looked like they've got quite a few 200 pluses there. Uh, yeah, probably balanced out about evenly there, isn't it? There's one below. There you go. There's one person below. President, all the all the stuff to show there. Get him up to 100, ladies and gents. All right, we're almost good to start here. 48 players, got to be two more, and then they'll be good to go. Critical there on the other team is, of course, the streamer there. They've got quite a few good players here, though. Look at the numbers. Stylocene, I've seen him before. All right, there you go. So that's where we're at, folks. We're just waiting for this match to uh, get to a point where they'll roll it. And as I said before, it is Chimera will be the Axis. And the uh, IR players will be the allies. So what I will have for you up the top is, of course, this headed bar. That's it right there. And that's Chimera will always be the blue players, and they will be Axis, and that's all marked up the top there. Uh, and um, the IR team in the orangey slash red color, and they'll be the allies the whole time. So we'll be at least able to track that uh, through the match, and I'll change the scoreboards over if I remember to, like this. All right. Sort of thing. Anyway. So... What are we waiting for? We're still waiting for those last two players from IR. Uh, just seeing VK here talking to the IR team and saying, let us, let us know when you're ready to go. Um, 49, so it must be pretty close now. Just the ones or two. They are a few minutes late, folks. So I do apologize for that. I wasn't expecting that at all. I could put on some promo videos and stuff for you, but I won't I won't do that to you. We'll just uh, we'll take it for what it is right now, and we will uh, hopefully get this kicked away. Be interested to see in chat, like put this pin this point in sand right now and say who's going to win this one, folks. Vote for your favorite team there. Let everyone know in chat who you think is going to actually win this one. I'd expect I'll probably have a few more Chimera uh, supporters in here than I would the IR team, being that I'm an English caster, of course. Uh, unfortunately, the IR team don't get a Chinese caster tonight. I don't think Critical Fail is actually a Chinese speaker. I can't remember, actually. There's a few players that do streaming that are multi-language. So uh, they're better than I, because I don't have that skill set. Uh, but yeah, anyway. So yeah, waiting up for this. I hope you did see that match last night that I cast in um, the NRNS. And uh, it was just three power versus AC, as I said. I won't spoil it for you. Go back and watch the VOD. It's on my YouTube as well. Um, but it was a good match. It really was a pretty damn good match. Uh, it, 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 it went all the way like we thought it was one team then we thought it was the other team that was going to win and then it was fucking i don't know anymore and i was screaming at the microphone at the end uh dear anyway uh we could talk a little bit more about the map i suppose while we're just waiting for this to occur um i'll keep an eye on that discord stream over to the left there uh and this is not even current time it's not close i better just check that i'm pretty certain it says Carantan allies, yeah, it's definitely Carantan. So uh, they're obviously flipping the map to Carantan at the end of this. Uh, so that's not going to help us at all. We'll probably go back to the main screen then, shall we? Hang on, wait for it. Yeah, this one, and then this one. And we'll get back across there. And the map, we can probably bring that up, can't we? No, that's not working. That's disappointing, isn't it? Uh, oh, I didn't have that set, that's fine. So, while we wait for that to tick over, it's still 49.50 at the moment. Um, I think uh, if you look at how the middle is set up there, Canal Crossing, sort of the advantage is anybody's there on any of those three middle points. Um, but what, what often happens that I've seen lately is that you get this string of points 
So, for example, Blacktop Pumping Station Canal Crossing. And it means that the teams compress to one part of the map, so they'll leave two entire rows completely vacant, which, which is fine, uh, except it's probably sort of long-term garrison opportunities that they often miss. And, uh, yeah, it's... It's, it's one of those things that has crept in lately that teams don't tend to use those extra bars. So if we, for example, have canal crossing, pumping station and rail crossing, the top of the map there, you'll see nobody down at Montelay or even train station down the bottom here, uh, except for maybe a fast vehicle from time to time. And, and in there lies a bit of the problem, doesn't it? Because if you're not tracking for that sort of stuff, you don't see the enemy flank you. Chimera being very good at the flanky panky, uh, the person we would watch out for would be is he on here tonight let's have a look he'll switch across into a um a solo squad Keltith will do it we'll see Keltith probably doing a bit of a soloing uh and they go in as squad leaders with nobody in their squad and they just run around in the back lines and set up garries and stuff like that and then they do this surge work and it works very very well if they're if they're doing it it works really really well but it takes a little bit of uh skill set electro is one of them i think too no, there's somebody else who's normally on there. Who's the person that's normally doing this stuff? He's not on there tonight. Okay, that's interesting. So we'll, we'll be interested to see how they play. Um, still waiting here. I'm finding this quite interesting. There's... BK is just typing some stuff to them. They're 12 minutes over at the moment. Um, yeah, okay. So what's going to happen? And I was, I was curious about the rules behind this. So they're waiting for the IR guys to respond there. A ghosty is the uh, organizer that sits overarching here. And VK has said, yeah, they'll go in three minutes. So it must be a 15 minute timer. They'll go in three minutes if there's uh, no reply from the IR team on that 50th player. Someone might be having some connection issues. Uh, it happens, unfortunately, you know, real life strikes. <laughs> if anyone was watching my stream last night, the bloody, um, I have a duty phone that I'm pretty much permanently attached to, unfortunately. Uh, and there was a phone call because there was a fire. So at the start of my stream, as I'm going, hi, everybody, my phone rings, my work phone rings. And so I'm like, and hold that thought for a moment. And uh, yeah, I had to take a call and sort some shit out. So uh, yeah, uh, <laughs> real life, hey? You know, it gets in the way of a good time sometimes. Okay, we're not far off from a start here with, as I said, there's a three minutes, uh, there's some random shit going on down here. They just blew up a tank and put it upside down. Classic, classic Chimera there. <laughs> How did they even do that? <laughs> oh dear, oh dear. <laughs> I do not want to know. There's a lot of dead bodies though. Hang on a minute. God, let's get that back across to here. Uh, to this screen so you can see what's actually happening. Sorry, I forgot. You weren't in there. <laughs> so somehow they've managed to flip the tank. And, uh, and everybody's now piled on the top of it. Well, they are keen tonight. I will give them that. They're definitely, definitely gunning for a fight. How are we looking? We're we about one minute away from uh, the auto start here, I think. It's still 49.50 on the board there. You can see we're still waiting for one uh, IR player. Uh, who hasn't turned up so uh or something's gone wrong there of course and here goes the tank it's just flipped oh it's all tragedy there there we go map flip now 60 seconds to go folks this is your chance to now start cheering on your team and get ready because this is going to be a ripper of a match even with one player down you'll probably find that ir player will rock up part way through which is fine i believe i don't think there's any rules behind that uh but a little bit of time padding there to get us through to where we are now it's going to be a fascinating fight, this one, I reckon. Absolutely fascinating fight. We could probably just rip down and see what YR we're up to in that last 30 seconds, can't we? And as I said here before, unfortunately, I don't have the two screens tonight. Uh, I couldn't get that running. So IR are just sort of spread out and doing a little bit of play. Yeah, all right. They're just mucking around. So disappointing for them that they're one person down. It should make a hell of a difference, to be honest. It's not like that... Uh, that would actually be a um, showstopper, really. If you're relying on one person to be the uh, the difference between a win and a loss, then um, uh, yeah. And so I just got confirmation there from Ghosty, the moderator, that uh, at the 15 minutes past start time and the team's ready, then yes, you crack on. So here it is, ladies and gents. Karen found it's away. And it's uh, Chimera versus IR. Thanks for your patience here while we've been waiting for this one to start. 
I'm looking forward to this match. I really am. I think I, I think maybe the oh, I don't know. I, I I couldn't tell. You. I don't know. Let's uh let's find my squad. I've got to jump in with Cooler wherever the hell Cooler is. There he is. Prep squad. Uh, there we are. Here I am, and we'll jump in as rifleman, and we'll put ourselves up there. This is our eye. and Stan Center straight up. Oh, it's gonna be a big one. Gonna be a big fight, ladies and gents. Town center it is. So we'll get up here and we'll get ourselves in position. I do wish I had the top down camera. I really do. For this first brutal phase, uh, I like having that camera over top, like looking down like this, like that, that sort of stuff. But uh, we're gonna. Well, we'll see how we go. All right. So let's take a quick look at the map here and talk about what's going on. So blacktop ruins through the town center. So. IR straight up have got this little uh, piece here where they've got Town Centre right at Ruins. Ruins is right over into the right of the column. If you remember, it's the four squares around a point that are the cap, and then you get three times in the point. So the four squares around Ruins are actually way away from where it is, or it's way off, off centre. So what that means is Chimera can do the flank and get in here and start doing a cap. That's something to keep in mind. Then there's a big gap. A couple of grid squares between Black Button Ruins and Pumping Station is a familiar place that we all see fighting around. Uh, for Chimera, a long way between Customs and Town Centre. So if they lose Town Centre, they got a fair bit of padding before the IR team get up to Customs, which means they can kind of respond and get their forces redeployed before these guys have a chance to actually run up there. So if IR are not on top of actually doing a redeploy once they capture Town Centre for a quick spawn, then Chimera will be able to hold that pretty easily. Whereas for the Ruins, Chimera take Town Centre, They've only got a grid square tops to go before they start capping ruins as well, or at least contesting it. Um, and then canal locks is, of course, the end. So I think uh, I'd, I'd say that this piece here, Chimera, have just the slightest of advantages, uh, but it's so skinny, it's not funny. While we're watching with the Chimera team, of course, a couple of tanks going up north. There's a supply truck getting ready for the first. That'll be the setup of nodes and stuff. They will not want to lose these two here. They, they will lock down this sector here, or they won't. I mean, if they don't, they'll lose the whole lot. Here's the uh, rapid force down the bottom here with Jam, as I said, an attacking squad there, just mucking around, of course, ready to go. They're going to do the big sweep through in here and try and do the double setup, I reckon. I think this might go real quick if IR's not watching for that. Nodes already up, of course, they're there, and then lots of tanks coming in through the middle. Quick check across to the IR side. I do like to do this. We'll run up the line and see what we've actually got from the IR up the red thing here. So nothing down south. Nothing at all there. Right, vehicle here. Tank and a couple of vehicles there. Greyhound as well. Pushing up through the middle area here. Vehicle full of trouble there with some extras. Up the top here. Yep, there's a vehicle up here ready to go. Light tank Stuart. And nothing much happening in there. It's battle time, ladies and gents. One hour, 27 minutes of this match to go. Everybody's excited. If you're not, well, what are you doing? Because this is going to be a ripper. And we are away. And there's the first pre-positioned artillery shots coming in. Let's just see if we can get that big panoramic and watch what's going on for those arty shots. I can hear them landing and smashing over the back there. Chimera putting a couple in early. So this must be... don't even know where it is. I can't see the splash. So the uh, early rocket shots, early artillery shots, a lot of this is all about... I can hear rounds going over top now. See if we can watch. See if there's any smashy in the middle there. Big explosions around the back. They're not kind of hitting anything. There's just lots of stuff going everywhere. Rocket going through that middle area there. Lots of rockets going in nice and shallow, not hitting anything. There's some more around the back. Going in there and saturated. Oh, that one wasn't too bad. A bit off, though. Wrong road. It's already pre-positioned up at that top left corner. I can see that landing. Shit, I forgot my header, folks. Get that back up. Uh, that's the wrong header. What am I doing? That header. There's the artillery coming down to the point now. We'll get over to that high up view. We want to get this top stuff. Big explosion up there. Something's been hit. Something's been hit up there at the top left corner. That's a great kill from Chimera. Not sure what got done there. Probably a truck. Yes, it was. It was a truck full of trouble. I have lost some troops straight away, and immediately you can see the advantage Chimera gains by that. Uh, they get the uh, advantage of having the cap earlier because they've got more numbers here because they just lost a truck. Oh, I just lost a truck. That Stuart's up there. It's just pl poking around now. The IR guy got out of the truck before it died, though, so they managed to get an OP up, and they've spawned in pretty quick. Look at the Chimera wave, though. It's spread out nicely. That's a very good first wave up in North South. Oh, they've lost something up the top there, though. Not sure what that is either, so look at that initial play going on right now. 
Big spawn there for Camaro all the way around. Something shooting into the middle there. Not sure what they're shooting at. Here comes a tank down the bottom. Two tanks down the bottom there. Three tanks for IR right in the guts there. Going straight for town centre. So that's great work from them pushing right into the guts with three tanks. I can see up there, I think that's a Luke's up near uh, Aussie Boy, of course, and something else up there as well. So they're trying to flank up to the north there, the Chimera guys. But those three tanks are pushing towards the centre here. Now they're holding position, shots into the buildings, uh, very high up, of course, at the moment. I just want to get this initial perspective. Chimera are capping through numbers. Oh, no, it's turned the other way now. IR have pushed tanks up forward just enough. There's a tank now going into town centre. You can see that moving in right now. It's getting hammered by the Lukes, but the thing with it is that it's not actually going to get killed by that Lukes. It just bounced the Lukes. That would be a 75 I'm looking at right now. Something just bounced the Lukes. There's the Lukes up the top centre there. Oh, no, that was the Panzer IV, and that's a kill on the 75. IR have lost that tank. Caps now going back to Chimera. Oh, it's contested, though. Jeez, this is a tight fight straight up, isn't it? There's a Puma in there as well, I think. I can't tell. I'm going to have to get in a bit here. There's that 75 that died. That is that is the Luke's here. Up the back is the Panzer IV there where PTS3 is hiding. Down the bottom here was uh, either the Greyhound. or There's the Greyhound just ducking him behind the building there. You can see just up to the right of Alan Zay as well. Chimera still got the numbers there. The whole team, it's all spread out everywhere here. Uh, but Chimera just have cap weight numbers going on at the moment. Just enough. There'd be only one or two in it, of course. Huge push down the tra train station here, actually. That's pretty good work from uh, IR. Trying to flank around on all angles as well. There's the Stuart just pushing in where Dido's is coming up and where Huller is up there on the top left. Uh, so what we're going to do is we're going to talk about the clock method. 12 o'clock's the top of the screen, 6 is the bottom, 3 right, 9 left. Pretend there's a clock face on the screen. So at the 9 o'clock position, that steward is pushing past the church right now. I'll be able to talk to you that way and give you better indications of what's going on. Chimera, though, with the weight, although there are a lot of IR players right up tight on town centre there. Look at them go. And the Chimera team have just got slight numbers, although they are trimming off one or two here. IR are just winning some of these trades. There we go. It's gone. Literally a one kill there has taken it back into IR's favour. And so IR now with the cap happening, and they've got a long way to go to cap this town centre. Eight minutes in so far. IR just getting the better cap weight at the moment. We should see a bit of a surge now as Chimera get their next board wave in. Uh, nobody will have garrisons in this er set area, of course, because nobody's capped it yet. So um, it's still all for OPs. So the surge has happened pretty quick. There's some really brutal shit going on in the middle of town centre. We're going to get down and have a look at that a bit closer. That Luke's is dead, of course. It's been picked off by who knows what. The Panzer falls over the back there. Big kills in the building there. But, geez, it's not the place you want to be in town centre. Here's artillery starting to smash down as well. Right in now. Chimera have picked off where they are. That Grand Henson in the stinky peak around the corner, potentially. He's playing it quite smart, actually. He's shooting. Oh, the Luke's is just blowing him up, though. That Lutz has pushed in. I thought the Lutz was dead, but it's actually pushed up nicely. And Chimera now with the weight. That artillery is picking off the IR troops as they come in, but they are holding their own against the Chimera guys down there. Here's some other shit happening above us. It's probably supply drop, I would guess. I'm not even brave enough to look at the map just yet. Oh, it's contested now. Nobody's... Yeah, Chimera's still got the numbers. I think they will get this. I just think they've got enough going on. Lots of big batter booms everywhere though at the moment. You can see what's what effect the Chimera tanks have had. They've just managed to gain the upper hand enough to take the IR tanks out. And that'll be 3-2 the Chimera right now. So well done to them. That's the first cap of Town Center. And look at that. As I suspected straight away, Chimera have gone the long game here. And they threw those early people out of that recon tank, Jam and Co. And they're around ruins now. And already the cap's happening. And I are in a lot of trouble here, folks. Because that will be a couple of angles that uh, Chimera can push the, uh, the, the caps in from. Look at that. They've already got the early garrison up there with supplies. That is brilliant work from Chimera. That was a supply drop that IR didn't pick up. And they've even run... Oh, no, that was even a bloody supply truck. VK's actually whipped around through the IR lines. No one's seen him in a supply truck. He's managed to get a fucking supply truck all the way into ruins, ladies and gentlemen. VK being the commander of the Chim Chimera team. This is brutally bad for IR if they don't watch out. They have... Oh, they've just worked out that someone's in their back lines. Trap Tricks, of course, is the commander. That's why I've seen his name before. Trap Tricks is, of course, the commander of the IR team. Just worked out they've got trouble in the back line. Probably a uh, garrison's being lit up. Unfortunately, I can't show you that at the moment. But great work from Chimera. And they are still capping here, but look at this pressure on the point now. IR are just starting that uh, extra stuff. They've got someone up in all the... <laughs> 
Um, there was someone in the church. Now there's no one anywhere near the church. Everybody's dead around that church. It's a bad place to be. I are. I've got numbers in the point. Pomera too spread out at the moment. They're relying on artillery to try and take out these IR players, but unfortunately they do not have the numbers around at the moment. And Chimera, just got to be careful here. They are losing this and losing it quite heavily. There's a spawn wave coming in now. It's only three or four people though, and it's still not enough to turn the point back in Chimera's favor. So IR with those couple of people on the center of the point are really making a difference. Those four that have made their way in there into the center of the point are making a difference and they're starting to uh, make it almost impossible for Chimera to get this back unless they do something. There's the contest now. They're starting to throw more back. They're in a bit of trouble here, Chimera, because every time they lose a person or two, it means they lose the cap. And here's the next wave of IR. They're a bit ballsy here too. They've gone with the whole, we're going to cap this. Let's push some troops forward. It's also to stop the Chimera... Um, uh, reinforcement line coming in here. So Boyman, Aussie Boy, and Von Luck can't really go anywhere down that street because uh, IR are shutting that down. Chimera just starting to cap back. Are they? No, they're not. They are in all sorts of trouble here. Over 50% loss here on the cap. There's the contest now. No, it's still being lost. Chimera need to do something desperately here to take this cap back. Well, IR are going to do it with an, uh, an effective counterattack here with just numbers. It's just pure numbers. There must be an airhead by now. Surely. I don't even know what that is. That's a supply. That's an airhead. Is that an airhead? No, it's fucking supplies, tricksters. All right, so. I oh, yeah, are those four or five people. Five people in the middle there. Probably a tank as well, I'm guessing. Big explosions now going in on the point. Chimera just have started to get some weight on here now, and they are starting to cap back. Just the ones and twos are working it. What is that? It is... There's a, oh, it's a Stuart. It's a Stuart that was parked in there. That's the problem for Chimera right now, folks. That little uh, Stuart there with uh, Sultan uh, of Sodium Chloride, 303, and then someone else. That's been shooting across there where Electro and everyone is. So as, they, as Chimera tried to reinforce, they're getting gunned down on the streets. And that Stuart is just beautifully placed to cover town centre where it needs to. And now, of course, you see that north wave. That's the north side up there. That we were talking about they're sweeping around behind the chimera lines and they're starting the cap again chimera just still not understanding where the threats are coming from here they are just surging at the same point over and over and over again and although it's sort of working they're not taking out the stewart they're not clearing out the spawns for the ir team they are capping it back now and i think it's this wave down here that's probably helping that mav and co pt is free they're sweeping through the bottom here trying to clear out the back lines of the ir team that's absolutely how it has to be done folks if you can't clear this stuff out then the ir can just keep feeding troops in there all day and so well done to the uh we'll just check there to um we just checked there. So uh, I just saw something interesting there, of course. For the record, we'll put it up here and make sure there was an IR player on the wrong team. Uh, I've seen this before. I don't know whether it's lost in translation or something, but uh, they've got rid of him, so that's fine. That might have been early on before the match. I didn't actually look at chat. Uh, IR again capping, though, with the sheer weight of numbers they've got through the middle and to the left side there to the 9 o'clock position and middle of screen. And with that, oh, good satchel. Good satchel there from somebody from Chimera has taken out all of that infantry, but that uh, steward is still parked in behind those buildings where the artillery is. There he is just there to the uh, 8 o'clock, uh, sorry, 8 o'clock, 5 o'clock position here. Lancer there getting some artillery landing on his OP kind of area. This is where it is. This is where they're spawning in. It's such a great spot. I think they've lost their OP now. Yes, I think they have. So that means it's going to really trim stuff down for Chimera. But look at the control, though, that IR... Uh, have at the moment of this this area even though that Chimera own the point I are all over it and uh, that's what was that that just went that might have been a tank taking the look I think that was a 76 folks ah oh, disaster for the disaster for the uh, 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 IR team there they've lost their 76 that was pushing in I think that's a 76 that was pushing in is that one of the map ones? Shit, I might be wrong. Oh, Ooh. awkward if I am. I apologize. I think they just lost at 76. Well, that'll be a bit of a look here to see what Chimera are bringing in there. They've got a light tank there. So that'll be a Luke's coming in for the two-person tank. Uh, and that's pretty okay, I guess, for a two-person. Uh, there's a couple of big tanks in the middle here, though. That's a Panther, and that'll be a uh, Panzer IV. So Chimera have finally got their tanks onto the point here. They'll put them as static pillboxes, probably. They need to get rid of that Stuart, though. That Stuart has been... Oh, look at this. That's Panzer IV now watching for that Stuart. So, but he'll be uh, KC up the top there's just been picked off. 
That Panzer IV is probably going to try and push on that. The Panther is protecting it away. Chimera now locked down the point finally. It's not fully locked down. Let's go and check what's going on down this way. IR, of course, shut down this attack. Here's Mister though, using this way down the bottom of the map stuff, which I talked about that doesn't happen too often, but it will on ruins because you can come in from both sides here. Uh, and that's that's kind of how it works. Look at the depth in garrisons, though, uh, for Chimera. They've got themselves well established here. Good backup garrison way down here, though, in case everything goes to shit. But at least they've got something that they can sort of re regroup from. Uh, but Chimera there, they've got the upper hand at the moment, but it's been a tight fight so far. And folks, oh, 15 minutes. That's all we've had so far. Quick check of what's going on. Looks like IR got their 50th player. That would have been what happened is that the 50th player got on the wrong team there. Uh, looking at the resourcing there for Chimera, they've been bleeding some fuel pretty heavy. Um, and uh, But uh, they've got their big tanks in the point now. And so we'll just get in tight and have a look at this for a while and watch what goes on in here. Someone's throwing something. Oh, and it's on here. The Panzer has pushed on the Stuart. And the Stuart's flipping the tank up. Oh, look at this. The Panzer. The Panzer 4 is in all sorts of trouble. I don't know what's going to happen here. The Stuart is just talking about gaming. Lupus is going to try and help the Panzer 4. The Stuart, look at it. It is pushing the Panzer 4 over. He'd be screaming for help. They don't know what to do, that Panzer 4. It's shooting, it's trying, it's hardest. That Stuart has absolutely wrecked the Panzer 4 and it's killed it. Oh, wow, has it? No, the Panzer 4 has got it. <laughs> Holy shit bags, folks. That was incredible. Wow, what play. What absolutely fascinating play that was. And of course, perfectly timed to zoom the camera in there. <laughs> Here's an interesting little play going on here. They're setting up the um, the repair points so they can actually have a defensive position here. So they don't want to lose. This is the semi-finals, mind you. Let's remember that. So, yeah. Just taking a quick drink there. And um, 30 minutes ago, uh, well, now for me, but, you know, when you guys are actually watching this, Russian Viking has done the rating. It's great to see you there. And I'll just do the quick g'day and thank you for the raid. We'll just write that in. Oh. So, uh, yeah, look, thanks for the raid there for uh, Russian Viking. And Salty's there as well. Good to see you, mate. So we're, we're in, we're 18 minutes into this match and it's sweaty as hell already. Uh, Chimera, after about 10 minutes or so, finally took the first point here, which is town centre. And, uh, but it's not strong, and we just saw some ridiculous play with that Stuart, of course. So for anyone just joining us, that was incredible stuff. Here's a supply drop, uh, sorry, not supply drop, ammo drop coming in. Um, so I are uh, throwing it to uh, Chimera. When Chimera took this point, they tried to get the ruins, of course, at the same time. They, they started that second cap. It was a very good play there from them, but IR were too good against that and they actually managed to clear out all the attackers and the uh garrison and also put pressure on the town center where they captured it three quarters before Chimera were finally able to turn it back and it was because the ir team had some great tankers on there uh fortunately for Chimera or well played for Chimera one way or the other they managed to kill off those tanks and now here's the cap happening again though on ruins i'm going to assume that's a proxy cap happening i i it must be one. Oh, it's a tank there you go. There's a tank on tank right here right now. That 75 was not even worn. He got his own teammates. Oh, no way. Great kill from the Panzer IV. Completely wrecked that 75. Where was the warning about that tank rolling its way through? 75 was just blindsided. The Panzer had the first shot. He's down doing another shot. He's taking a garrison down. Absolutely fascinating. Who's in that tank? The U, the U, Sink and Gangbang. El Sink and Gangbang. Uh, that tank is having a field day here. It's, uh, I think there's infantry around still. It's trying to shoot it. There's nothing there, boys. You're safe. Um, the uh, the Panther 4, though, almost lost its life earlier when it drove into that Stuart. And the Stuart just went, fuck you, I'll run underneath you. So, incredible stuff. A lot of going on down here towards the, this is the train station down here. So, Coco and Prince are having a bit of a tag team down here at the moment. Give me the hand there. X3 para, 
Everyone in three pair goes, ooh, and they that's Phoebe's name. <laughs> he's a good bloke. Uh, so he's trying to clear out this bottom stuff as well. Keep these IR guys out of here. You can see IR are getting frisky down the bottom here. They want to try and push something up through probably this area here, which is good play for them. They've got, you can see it's pretty open there. If they can get past Lorvain, this is very good defense, though. This is very, very good defense. Lorvain's up on top of the buildings. He'd be calling targets. Oh, not shot from Prince, though. Levain up at the top of the building. If you're calling targets in, although he's not watching that way now. Coco's just been picked off. They're not sure where that's come from. Prince has managed to make his way through. That's good news for IR because he'll be able to get up into this back line area now, probably up into that centre town area here, and start pushing through, getting a garrison or OPs up in this area. Oh, no, he's going the other way. Okay, well, don't do it then. But this is where they'd want to be coming up through this area to the repair station where VK is, you know, because that's town centre. So I think the problem for them at the moment, though, is that uh, Chimera just got the front foot. Uh, so... Uh, it means I have to sort of try and deal with the spawn waves and stuff that are going on from a Chimera perspective, whereas Chimera have got free reign to, you know, have their defense, do their defense, and uh, and keep pushing. All right, let's take a bit of a look now at what's going on with the artillery side of things, first of all. So Cooler, of course, is my illustrious squad leader that's leading me as the caster. Uh, I always uh, sit with him, so thank you, Cooler, for participating in uh, being in my team. <laughs> Uh, cooler and over there putting multi artillery down. I guess in a non-open map, which is what the town centre area is here, it's very non-open. There's a lot of linear paths in. It is pretty good to have a couple of artillery pieces going, and they are doing that. They've got some defence on there. Looking to see IR are not contesting that artillery at all. I can't see any IR players anywhere rocketing in or whatever. Uh, nobody up here at Customs, of course. Sweeping around up this way, you can see the recon starting to push up here. They're looking, they're sniffing. But Chimera are too good at the moment. Let's go and have a look at the IR artillery. And they've got two pieces as well. Three. Three going. Three players there. So they're putting in the extra effort to get rounds down range at the moment. I'm wondering if that's good for their resources. Given how much Chimera is bleeding munitions at the moment, you can see the 79 there. Uh, I reckon, uh, yeah, it wouldn't be the greatest for IR either. But nobody contesting that from Chimera. So everyone's kind of happy to leave the artillery do its thing at the moment and rack up kills without any contest. That's fine. That works okay. No problem at all there. So, well, what do we what do we see here? What do IR need to do? Well, we just talked about where Prince went around the back. And uh, so I'm just taking my jacket off. It's a bit sweaty in this room. Uh, Prince is pushing around the back here, and they've actually got uh, numbers down the south side here. So this is good work from them. They'll be trying to push around to the right and try and get around back to town centre. But I think at the moment they're trying to just cut down the Chimera attack waves. We always see the same sorts of lines here, though. Where Spherical is is a great example. This building here, this is one you can actually walk through and get around into the back. And so we often see OPs in there and attacks come through into this area here. And it also gives you the chance to do that, spot those tanks coming through. Then they come up into this area here, and that's what you can see Chimera also doing, pushing in through here. They've got Kanashi now. We'll watch him play through. He's got a bit ahead of him. Uh, he's, got the he's got a tank. He's now getting down the ground. They know he's there. He's going to get shot from the right flank, probably. Well done picking that first guy up. This tank, there it goes. Yeah, he knew he was there. He picked him off nicely. I think that's a three-person tank, by the way. Yes, it is. That's that tank from before, which got blindsided and shot by this, the Panzer IV. Uh, but round the back here, you can see Jam's attacking squad now trying to push in with Panic and Tism. Uh, and there's a bit of trade going on there. Nice shots there from Tism. Picks up his man on the street. But now again, of course, he's got the tank as well to worry about. Uh, and uh, yeah, that's that tank's pretty good, I must admit. Uh, despite what they had him before. There's 933 going for a bit of a fly. Uh, he's doing an aerial recon. It didn't work out too well for him by the look of that. Uh, I know we've got some great pressure up to the north side of town centre there. They do have quite a good circle going on here of the Chimera positions. Look at that. They've got the town centre chapel uh, dominated. And um, that's the uh, that's the intent there. And I've just had a question from Anger Problems 123. Why is this stream so far behind the other? I prefer to run a 30-minute delay rather than a 15. And the reason I prefer to run a 30-minute delay is because... Teams can still cheat off of 15 and actually work out where garrisons are uh, pretty quickly. Whereas up at 30, it's kind of almost irrelevant or it's it's the battle's moved on. Um, and that's, that's kind of how it works. The other thing I say is that it gives the two participating teams a chance to come in and watch the last half hour to 45 minutes of their match, depending on how long beforehand I stream. That's the way I like to do it. Uh, I get that other streams are different. And I understand that and that's fine. And I might actually 
type some stuff into chat later, but I don't have the time at the moment because I'm, uh, of course, soloing this as I am. But hopefully Anger Problems actually gets to read that one and understands why I do 30 minutes. Those are my two reasons. I, I would honestly argue for a 30-minute stream for um, um, the uh, the uh, or any comps that are out there. People argue 15 because I want to interact with the audience. Unfortunately, 15 is 30. It doesn't really matter. You know, uh, so I don't believe in the argument. Oh, I can't, I can't act. Uh, I can't interact with my participants. Um, so yeah, that's that's kind of how it works. Anyway, um, but I think that 30 is much better. I do honestly think 30 is much better, and it does really does give these teams both a chance. Big tank kill just there. Saw that go. Caledonius picks up his man. That was that. I think that was that 76. Was it? Let's have a look. No, that was only a 75. But good kill there from Caledonius. He had rockets to spare. Um, so well done there but yeah it gives the teams a chance to come and actually watch the match straight away for the 30 or 45 minutes of the last part of it so and a lot of teams like to do that so i like to support that as well uh some players some streamers don't like to stream for more than 15 because it uses a lot of ram uh i don't think it's that bad but um yeah that's that's what some people argue so that's fine and each to their own i guess i don't know what the specific comp rule is i thought it was always 30 anyway uh, but it may have changed. I haven't really tracked that because I'm just happy to stick with 30 and the, the team seem to be happy with that too. Anyway, I still hope you enjoy the stream. It is certainly an interesting match so far. I uh, definitely have some numbers up the top here. I I will say that they have pretty good sector movement up there. There's a Stuart just in nice and close there. Um, uh, yeah, that's, uh, you know, they're trying to push her in the church. I think Kamara have realised the problem here and they're trying to squeeze out the IR players. They are doing it. Um, yeah, they, they, are, they are squeezing them out slowly. That Stuart's now taking some rockets. Kamara are just playing well there. Oh, what was that that died around the back here? Uh, that's an interesting thing. That was just a truck. That's just a timed out truck. Okay. So Comera now starting to lock down Town Center pretty well. There's some IR players in the back there. That'll be interesting. Those guys will be trying for a satchel. Oh, this could be trouble for Comera. This is good work from IR. They'll be trying to get around onto that Panther that just rocked up to kill the steward. So whoever that is from IR right down below us now will be trying to actually get in and take out that Panther. Maybe, I'm not sure. He'd have a satchel for sure. And then there's V racing through as well. Uh, so he'd be trying to, um, trying to get something going there as well. Uh, no, they're both going in for town centre, so they are going to try and clear out the garrison and do the cap thing. Chimera got numbers all the way around at the moment. There's a tank coming in. That's another panther, so they've got the two panthers right there. V will be waiting for that. He'll be trying. He'll be trying to push this. We'll see if he can. Oh, there's two panthers in there. Hang on, a shit. How many panthers? Are they? they got three panthers on the field. Chimera have three panthers on the field wow look at that shit that i haven't actually seen so there's one there at the three o'clock position and there's two down below us poor old v he had no chance just then oh but he might have slapped the satchel down i wonder if he put a satchel down here let's check see if we can see i can see uh that's yeah there was that satchel hit both panthers Oh, wow. And that's the Earl of Warwick. But both Panthers didn't die. They got fragged by it, though. Well done. Uh, this is a pretty good play. That was a pretty good play from IR. Didn't didn't quite get their man close. Jesus, that was a pucker moment, wasn't it? Uh, so, Camaro uh, not getting anywhere on this uh, Ruins attack. They are being shut down. Here's Jam. Big Frankie coming in from Jam. I was just coming around to look for that, and the timing is almost perfect, isn't it? Uh, you just start to think, all right, well, if they're not getting in through the front, they must be trying somewhere else. And here we are, Jam, flanking around. He's actually uncontested at the moment. That guy up there in the building on the, the roadside there, he'd be looking to shoot down there and pick up everyone, but he hasn't seen Jam get through. And so it's up to Iceberg to try and pick up Jam on the way through if he can. I just heard a rocket go over. I wonder, oh, that's hidden in shadows. He's now putting pressure on the artillery. So they've got forward a little ways. Iceberg now... We'll be watching that happen. If he sees Jam, he'll pick him up. But Jam's smart. There's an OP from Iceberg. He's not looking. He's not seen him yet. Iceberg will not see Jam. And that is great play. That is great play from Jam. Shazza now pushing through. Iceberg's coming over to look for that. So, well done there. I might just pop over and we'll, we'll 
just watch this little play go out. I might just pop over to the uh, chat there and just answer um, old mate um, in the actual t t chat. No, he will, he'll have read it. I'll leave it. I'll leave it. He'll read it. I don't get time to actually interact with the chat too often. So anyway, um, so this is a great little play here from Chimera, isn't it? Um, they are doing a nice flank. Shaz is going to run into trouble though. Shaz is going to run into trouble here. He's going to come in across. If he gets that uh, garrison, that's nice work. There's the recon gone up. So now everybody's seen Shaz is there. Shaz is ready. Oh, great kill from... Shaz was ready for that, but Al Ali... Tu Ali... 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 Um, Wilbo with an A has got the drop on Shaz there uh, unexpectedly. So well done there. Nice play. 59 minutes to go, folks. 59 minutes to go. And Jam and Diesel have now got round the back here. They would have put an OP in this area somewhere. Diesel's managed to spawn in on that. Probably. We'll just check that quickly. No, no, they haven't. Diesel just ran. Okay. So look at this circle starting to happen from Chimera. It's just starting to go around nicely, but you can see there's a bit of threat here from the IR team. Let's go see what that is while we're waiting for Jam uh, and his t crew to get in there. There's a Satchelier around the back there or a Rocketeer. IR have managed to get some people up in between Customs and Town Centre. That's nice work there. And that's a surprise for the Chimera guys. Heavenly's come back to defend that. But IR now in the back lines of Chimera. It may, it may get ahead of them though here, IR. They may suddenly start losing the next point and they'll lose all momentum up there. But because uh, you, you can see the numbers starting to come around, but look at this. They've had a they've had a flag happen, and Jason has actually seen something ping, and he's coming out to have a look now. Probably he's spawned in down below us somewhere. Jam and Diesel are now pushing right up there under ruins. There's a tank there still sitting there, same area as it was before actually. One o'clock position, you can see that tank just sort of camping there, defending this flank. There's another tank on the point on ruins itself. I can see they're in the city center. So it's now trying to defend that way. Caledonius, Mav and Spheric are trying to push around to get that. And they're not having any luck because that tank's well onto them. Here's Jason now sweeping around the back of Jam. Jam's going to get shot in the back if he's not careful. Uh, as Jam... Well, no, he'll, he'll get away with it. He's pushed around. He's played smart here. Panic's around the back now as well. Coming off of Jam's OP, I'm guessing. Yeah, finally, there's the OP that we were talking about that Jam would put down. So Jam's now on the point looking as Jam does for garrisons and enemy. And he'll try and kill him out. We'll watch this play. Very good player, Jam. Very, very good player. Uh, very aggressive player, though. Absolutely. Here he goes. He's watching. He's killed. He's killed, killed nicely. Alan Zane now knows someone's there. Let's see what he works out. He's just looking around the back here. Jam's gone inside the building. So, Alan Zane now knows someone's in there. He's going to have to try and find him. Oh, this could be interesting. Jam's going through the other building. He's coming up against two tanks. Panic's right there. Jam's got nowhere to go now. He's got Alan Zay one side and a tank the other. That tank is absolutely... Let's just watch that play out here. Jam's looking at that tank. He's got it. Probably going to mark it. There's the other tank as well. He's now sweeping around. He's still going on there. Uh, Panic's in there as well. Alan Zay's looking. He's, they know that something's lit up here. They know something's going on. Panic's picked up his man. Tism's coming in. Maybe. And Diesel there coming in. Look at this. Rocket going, I reckon. Tism's got the eyes on. Now he's run off. Jam's saying, hey, boys, come on up. There's a couple of tanks here. Go, take your pick. For those any tankers, then there's IR now starting to surge back here. But look at Chimera. Just starting to get numbers back here. I think IR are a little bit behind on the, on the intel here. There's, there's Starks coming back. And they're just starting to see that they're losing people on the point there. Stark got picked off by Tism nicely. Those tanks are doing the job back here. So Diesel... Oh, Jam got shot, but Diesel probably put a satchel down. Panic holding position quite well. He'll be looking for and listening for that IR player coming around. This is tidy stuff, isn't it? Diesel now coming right in on that tank. That'll be a three tank, though. It won't get caught out. Well, it shouldn't get caught out. Diesel's watching it. He knows it's seen him. That other tank here, what's it doing? It's just a pre... No, it's just sitting. It's covering north. Oh, great kill from the tank. Picked off Diesel quite nicely. Butter dog. Here be Satchelin. Pushes through, sweeps around, picks up his man, gets in, gets in close. Up the top goes Butter Dog. Wants to put his satchel down. Oh, he's shot out. He's been shot out by everybody. He's got Tang right beside him. He'd want to put his satchel down and just. He's got to put his satchel down. He's picked off a Pang Oh, he's gonna he's gonna get shot in the back. Yeah, there it is. He waited too long. 
There's too many IR players there to do speedy runs through like that. And and there is momentum here for Chimera. IR losing a little bit of traction up here because they've got to defend so vigorously. So we're 55 down. 55 to go, rather. And there were three Panthers on the field before. I better just check to see if that still remains extant. we got one there, one there, and one there. Yeah, look at that. God, three Panthers. That must be hard. And they've got a spare up there. And a 76... Uh, sorry, 76. Panzer four there as well. So they could have four... Oh, yeah, it's more than three. Isn't it? Five, five tanks, what? So they could have five Panthers on the field, I think. I don't know, actually. I have no idea how that works. I don't know the numbers. I think it's five armoured squads, which is why I can't create my own armoured squad and actually have intel. Um, but, yeah, look... Uh, Three Panthers must be must be hard for, for IR to try and crack that open. We've got this stuff happening down the bottom here still. IR are pushing way down through trains. There's a train station down here. So they're about four or five hundred meters. Three fifty, three fifty meters out. Alright, and they're picking off the Chimera players down here and just cleaning stuff out, but they're not pressuring the point at all. They've got that machine gunner in the building. He's let a few through actually. <laughs> Awkward. Um Salty's thrown in a sub. Thank you, Mr. Salty. I do appreciate that. We we talk about it. Uh, there is a revenue drop coming for me shortly, I believe. And so as soon as I get that, uh, I will be putting up some freebies uh, and do one of those draw things I do. And that's where all the revenue goes, folks. So uh, I don't earn a lot, to be honest. But when I do get money, it goes straight back to the community. So thank you for the sub there, Salty. Uh, Chimera is still working around the back here quite nicely. I have still got this north control here, sort of. The Chimera guys, you can see, they're in in amongst it here, and it's it's just you know tag team around the chapel at the moment. DB's up there in the top. There's the early rockets. Global Electro and Indian Shadow trying to play the game in here. I uh, know that stuff's coming from there. So um, yeah, you know, there's tag. Nice kill from B. No, two kills from B. Great kills there from B. Picks up his men and the other one as well. And now here's a tank looking straight up at it though. Bam, that's a grenade to the face for somebody. Huller now looking for that in the sh in the chapel. Huller's been picked off. V with three kills in a row now. Nice work there from V. The moment he sticks his face around that corner though, that panther's going to shred him. So he's got nowhere to go right now. There's another tank around the back here I can hear shooting at something. Lots and lots of bullets going everywhere. There's V, face around the corner. Bam, and there he is. Gets shot by the Panther, as suspected. But they got someone up into that um, chapel there. 52 minutes to go. I are still trying. They're still sniffing around here. But they're not getting anywhere. And Chimera just starting to get, as I said, they've been for a few minutes now, probably a good 10 minutes. They've just had this pressure, this sector pressure going on. There's no cap happening. They have not yet started the cap in the last 20 minutes. They did earlier, and then they lost it. And then they did again, and then they lost it. And now they've just got sector pressure without cap because IR have got enough people in the circle. But it means that they're just starting to lose the forward momentum they were hoping for IR. And Chimera are just picking up stuff. We're going to have a little drinky here as we watch this. That 76, I think it is, is camp. Oh, no, it's 75, wasn't it? No, there's the 75 with the white logo on the front of it racing off down there to the right. That's 76, ladies and gents. So the 75... It's got the bigger white logo on the front, more obvious from a distance. He's pushing across the field there. He's just taking out his, um, taking out the satchel here. Just taking his satchel here out there. So, uh, uh, he's no got Mav behind him. Mav will be trying to drop something on it to get rid of that 75. It's not that big a threat, but it's been holding that, holding a flank for ages for Chimera, and they can't actually get through with that 75 in position. So, uh, it's it's just stagnating a little bit here, the old battle, isn't it? Gomero just chipping away, chipping away, chipping away. Um, but it's not, there's nothing going on. Pell here is trying to get in there onto that 76. He's, oh, <laughs> he has not done it. He has just worn the full fury of 76 to the face. We'll go up and have a look up to the north here and see what's happening. We did see, oh, that was a shot over the top. Who was that? Is that a... Is that an overshoot or is that a tank up here? I can't hear or see anything. I think it was overshoot, was it? Yeah. Not sure. But look at that. The, the pressure's still up here. There's a truck going through to customs. I are still hunting around the back here. Trying to clear stuff out. They've got something going on here into the chapel still. 
DV is there defending that area. He knows people are in there. He's trying to push on it, which of course is um, th this is always going to be a uh, a problem trying to push up with the machine gun. Of course, now he's been shot down. He's got two against him. That's Furor coming up to help out there. We're just looking back over at the point here. It's still the same tanks, still the same infantry trying to push in. Chimera are getting. This, the, they're just getting the drop. Here's a panther pushing now. There's a satchel here chasing the panther. It's taken around to the face. That panther's about to die. Bell's coming in to try and repair it. That panther's going to die. Bam. And that The semi... Oh, yeah, there it is. So that's one panther down. And there's the satchel as well that was slapped on the back of it. Old mate chased it and he was defending that. Um, so yeah look well done there for that uh 76 there holding position he'll just back off now and repair himself with that little bit of damage that he's taken and chimera have to sort of lick their wounds a little bit there and think about what to do next but the ir uh well they're getting some uh advantage here in the middle now there's they're just winning the trade here it seems uh because they've made i mean but they've made 10 meters of ground and chimera made 10 meters of ground over there at, at ruins as well it's very uh, trench warfare at the moment. But you can see this just this brutal trade that's going on. That panther's still camped down in town centre there. That's the one I'm talking about. We'll get in and have a look at him. There he is. So it's just got the two in it, actually, because they don't need to go anywhere. Thor could be... Well, one of them would be in the uh, commander spot, one would be in the gunner spot. And it's just sitting there now, holding position, looking around what's going on. Uh, the... <clears throat> The 76 kind of doing the same thing there. He's been zipping around backwards and forwards, left and right, uh, and just shooting anything that comes in. There's supplies. I haven't seen an airhead at all, but nobody really has the resources at the moment. Uh, we're almost halfway through the match, folks, and it's it's just calmed down a little bit now. We've still got the same stuff happening everywhere that we were talking about before. It's the same, same uh, attacks on the same lines a little bit. I are now trying something down the south as well. Jeez, they're agile, aren't they? They're all over it. IR at the moment. While they're not winning the actual cap on Town Centre, they're coming in from all sorts of places. It's not giving Chimera a chance to actually set anything up. They have to just keep... Um, they just have to keep relocating and redeploying Chimera to try and stop these pushes that are coming in. So here's one down here where Mav is now trying to defend against. He's probably been here for a while. I think they've got a Panther there as well, actually. Yes, they have. It's a three-person Panther, so that's the big tank right now. And Kingsley and Vapo... Uh, and Jaeger are in there and um, yeah there look at that just just defending quite nicely so that's such a big area there that I can defend against Chimera need to have of course infantry to support that tank and they do have with Mav and his crew Prowzy down there on the railway um, and so I are trying these things but Chimera have got the defense at the moment their combined arms is actually working very well tonight and I did say that at the start if you've got your combined arms happening then you're going to be tough to beat and that's what we're seeing with Chimera so uh, you know, IR are just are, are still trying away, trying away here. They've got 47 minutes to go, so they have plenty of time to try and make something happen. But Chimera just too good on defense at the moment, uh, even in this city map. Now, let's have a look what's going on back over here at the ruins, because this is a little bit interesting still. Chimera have been pushed out of the south, southeast, southwest side, and now they're up to the north area, which is where we're looking down on now. There's a tank pushing around underneath us at the moment. That tank is a 76 it's shooting at its own troops in that building. Or it's shooting at something it thinks is in the building that isn't there. Oh, there we go. Um, and Chimera have been shut down here. Great work from IR. The defense is on it. I still don't know what that tank's shooting at, but whatever. So we're back to even Stevens there. Chimera have got town center with a few sniffing IR players around. And IR have the ruins, but no one's really sniffing uh, from Comer at the moment because they've been shut down. So we'll watch this player go in here, just see what actually happens. Get down into this nice gritty stuff for a moment because the battle's pretty stagnant. Look at how patient he is. Definitely a Tarkov player, I would suggest. Just chilling here, waiting to see what happens. 45, just over 45 to go, so we're just hitting the halfway point now. See how, see how far he can see down there, you know, 200 meters, I guess. He'll probably head around the corner now, um, not carefully. Oh, he's put one in at Electro. He'll get him, will he? He's missed. He's missed with three. There, he's got him with four. Electro had no idea where that came from. Good shooting, thought of, I guess. Any push coming in up here? No, nothing at all. Get down and have a look at this area here. This is where it looks like it's sort of happening a little bit. Diesel's picked up one. 
Pang F is there. He's got his legs sticking out. Oh, Diesel's seen him. His legs have popped down. Diesel's seen him, man. Good kill from Diesel there. He'll push forward now, try and get a satchel on something. There's the spawn coming in. Diesel will camp this and wait for these guys to run through. If he's got patience. Oh, tank to the face. Tank to the face. Bam. Thanks for coming. So that's that defensive thing I was talking about before. Stark now doesn't want to put his face out there. There's a rocket going past us, I just heard. There's four spawns coming in. That's a smoky going up. Diesel now watching around the corner. There's the bullets from KC. Well, I know Diesel. Oh, and Diesel's now worn it. As artillery. There's a recon going up. Gotrex put that one up to have a look see. So he'll see a bunch of those players. Chimera now pushing around the back. This was where there was a tank. There is still a tank there. Chimera don't know that. Tism's about to find out the hard way, which is usually a 76 to the face. Here it goes. 3, 2, 1. He's on the garrison. He's locking the garrison down. He's The tank has missed. That is a fatal fatal mistake from that tank and it's lost the garrison there tism now he won't survive that of course but he's taking the garrison down well played 75 there well that's a 76 as well i think actually yes it is that's a 76 as well so uh chimera took down a garrison around the back here but pang f is there ready to put something else up so that was the garrison for ruins by the way uh but chimera don't have anything much to follow it up with all of their dudes died on the way in there and jinx is now sort of pushing through just to see what else he can clear out because uh there's nothing left there's an OP going up from uh, from uh, IR, so they've spawned in off of that. There's a garrison back up already. So it hasn't affected them at all. I've got to remember to use this, this little zoomy thing, don't I? A bit fancy. There you go. There's your zoomy, and we'll get back out of that. All right. I don't, I don't use that one. I just don't. I really don't. I prefer to go like this and get my, get my stuff going on and get down like this and do a little of zoomy. Here's 404 against Butterdog. Batter dog sweeping around the back here. Nice work. Chat's obviously watching the steward in the pants of four right now. Absolutely watching the first steward in the pants of four. No question whatsoever. Now, what do I need to do, ladies and gentlemen? That's the question. They've they've got a tank down below us somewhere. Someone has. Where is that tank? That is the 76. It's been hit a few times. It's backed off again. So they can't push anywhere there. That is, that was something weird. It was zooming in and out just then. It's a statue, okay. Uh, so, Chimera have got this point pretty much locked down. You can see there's a pan panther on the point. They've got the church control back, so IR have been kicked out of there. That's okay. They're getting that top sector back. They've Actually, they've dominated that well. So they've cleaned out all the IR players up there. <clears throat> right, let's have a look what Chimera have done on the point, if anything. We've got nothing around the back here. Let's get ourselves through slowly. Have a bit of a sneaky peek. We've got the panther. We've got nothing up there. We've got nothing there to stop anyone from coming in. Chimera not opting for any of those defensive things that we talk about on the Europe European um, servers in particular. They like to put defensive stuff up on points. Uh, Oceanic servers do not. Bit of a fight going on there. Gotrek having a bit of a tag team in there with Zagan as well he's got his man i think has he nice kill there one two three i think four died in there from zay uh, from go -Trek. now he's been picked up from alan zay nice kill there it's rough spot to be though what have what have ruins got on them that's the next question we know there's a garrison down there in those trees below us ruins have got nothing but the tanks as well so no one opting to put up any defenses at all there's artillery landing but no one to capitalize on that we have a couple of tanks yeah, that's it. The tank's wearing a bit of artillery now, which can hurt it, I believe. Direct hits can hurt. I don't know if they can hurt the big tanks. I've never actually checked that out. Uh, they definitely can hurt small stuff, but I just don't know about big stuff. I don't even know, actually. You know what, chat? Tell me. Can can artillery hurt vehicles? I, I never bother chatting. I just shoot at stuff. If they tell me to shoot artillery, I shoot it. I are trying up north again, trying to see what they can do. See what they can do up there. Just still pushing through. Chimera. Oh, they've been pushed back a little bit here. So they've got right back under the town town center defense. The tanks are going to have to go back for ammo soon. I reckon they would have to be running out soon. Absolutely. Here's that push around the back again. Back of ruins. 
This is sector sector wide as well, by the way. See, they're still in the sector. Not these guys down here, but these guys here are. Because these four squares are the sector. So, just taking a good look at that, you can see stuff's lit up everywhere for Chimera. They know they're fully surrounded around town center, except for up here. So good work to them for clearing this this area out up here. But uh, they've got all these other problems going on. They just lost that garrison back there. Uh, we'll have a look at what that was. There they are. This is a good play here from IR. They've got to somewhere where I was talking about ages ago. They needed to put some people in. And here's PT's free and uh, Heavenly coming back on that defense. So PT will be looking. There he goes. Bam, he's got one, two. Oh, he's picked up one. He's picked up two. He's got, he's got three. Bam, bam, bam. PT is free. Has shut down that first phase of play. Now he's just going to wait for Heavenly to get round. Great shooting from PT. Absolutely top shelf stuff. That's what you want in your comp players, isn't it? Oh, Heavenly's been picked off by somebody at range. PT now is he's been picked off, countered by 8, 8, 8 D. So great, great counter play there. You can see though, look at the next point. It's contested. Ruins is contested. Those guys around the back have just started to put that pressure on. Now it's an even, even cap. Uh, it's gone back to IR, but now IR know they have to do something about it yet again. So that little tiny bit of momentum they were getting. There's a 76. It's burning. That's interesting, isn't it? The little bit of momentum that they were getting at the back there uh, of the Chimera lines is now probably going to sort of slow up a little bit as they have to pull some of those players back or redeploy something. Or it'll give Chimera a chance to um, uh, change their position and and um, you know push forward, surge forward again out of town center. So this was a good shutdown here. Very, very good shutdown here from the Chimera team. Just look how far out they've shut down this attack. 300, 300 meters. So... IR just struggling at all to get anywhere near the point with that sort of defense. That was such great play. But there's a giant hole here now. Iceberg's going to run through that one. So there are a few doors open for them if IR are agile enough, which I know they are. It's just if they're getting that intel, if they're actually working out there's a gap there and trying to push through. Uh, Iceberg now is just sort of there. He's taking the garrison down. Okay, I just saw a garrison pop underneath Iceberg. So... Chimera now know they've got two problems around the back here. They've got that push that PT just shut down before, but now they've got another push. Goose is going to have to start coming around and have a look at that. The tanks are still there. We'll take a look in a second to see how many Chimera tanks there are. Unfortunately, I can't show you how many um, uh, IR tanks there are. We could probably actually have a look at stuff on the mini point of view thing because the stream on the other streamer is ahead of the game, isn't it? Do we want to try that? We probably could bring that up. I'll see what happens when we just uh, bring up his stream and um, and just see what we can do. Hang on a second. We might be able to just get a little bit of a look at the other theme at the moment. Shush, sorry about that noise. We'll turn that off completely. Um, his name, what is his name? It is Critical Fail. Critical Fail. Uh, he's live at the moment. Let's see if he's got that. Yes, he has. There we go. He's got ads. Okay. Um, so we might be able to link you that screen and just have a bit of a look at it, if I'm clever. Uh, we'll turn off his sound completely. We've got that turned off. And I'll, I might be clever enough to actually bring you, ladies and gents, the guest point of view on that other screen. Let's see if I can do this. Let's see what I can do for you. And we can at least have some look-see. There's the guest point of view. Let's do the BenQ monitor. And see if that comes up on the stream. Oh, we'll get rid of that and get rid of that. And let's get that BenQ. Yes, it is. Uh, all right. Mm, so here it is, folks. Is that coming up? That's the question. Uh, I'm not seeing it, am I? No. Uh, not seeing it at all. Oh, so he's got 51 on the clock on his. So it might be it might be something we could look at and maybe later. Um, it's not going to work out. I thought it might actually be sexy, but it's not at all. But I might keep that. Um, might keep might keep a bit of a look on that and uh, and just see what we can actually see um, in relation to when he brings up the map. And I'll be able to tell you stuff that's going on in my other screen. I can't actually show any of it. It's still behind, you know, fifty minutes. But. Uh, yeah, anyway, so I just thought I'd try something there because I realised he was only 15 minutes delayed um, and then thought I could, thought occurred to me I might be able to share his screen with you. But uh, that's not going to happen. But let's look back at what's going on here. We see Iceberg is pushing through there, but look at that defence again from Chimera. It's actually shutting down that IR push. 
They've just shut down everything. They've shut down everything so far out. It's absolutely great start. From Chimera, look at that defense. They're, they're still there. Um, still there. Uh, and, uh, you know, Chimera are just trying to shut down this attack in the middle. There's still no P up. I reckon Chimera have got it. Yeah, look, one down, two down, M1903. Whoa, Cal Caledonia's put some grenade in and a rocket. That OP, wherever it is, is be in the trench. There it is. It's gone. So that's the end of that attack as well for IR. But I guess the thing, the thing that's occurring here is that Chimera are not getting any momentum on the point, right? On on the attack themselves, they they are they are doing the um, they are doing the the defense thing brilliantly, but IR are just sneaky peeking everywhere, and that's stopping Chimera from going and pushing in. And so if we look at where their attack is, let's have a look. They have got a garrison up here again, so they're going for that north side push again. Mister's down the bottom here. They'll be trying to set up a garrison down the bottom. Chimera have still got people up in their backs, back lines. Absolutely up here. So they've got to watch that. There's some stuff in there. So let's watch this little play from Chimera now. Coming in up this way. Oh, but they're already known. So as soon as they start trying to come across their fields here, they're going to get snorted by IR ready for them, possibly. So, I mean, if they're on it, look at that. There is, that'd be a garrison in there. Let's take a quick look. Is it? Is it? No, it's an OP in the wheat field. Tism's coming across. Jam's picked up something just then. I think he took out a garrison just then, actually. Tism's now down. Jam knows he's just had his mate shot on the left-hand side. Um, Diesel's coming through uh, and holding position at the moment. There's another thing. Oh, gosh, it's hard up here, isn't it? Everywhere's a tough fight. There's not one particular area. Nice kill. One, one trade each way just then. Here's Panic now putting some shots in. So Chimera, uh, look, you know, they're a couple of hundred meters out and I are shutting that down. Back over into town center now, nothing happening there for IR. That north push is being shut down by great defense, to be honest. There's some great defense here from the Chimera guys. I just, I, I can't tell you. And, and why is that such an important thing? Chimera are a very aggressive team generally. They tend to attack more than defense. If we remember that they are a blend uh, of, um, uh, of uh, AIF and um, HFKT from the old days, uh, HFKT tended to be a little bit more defensive team, a uh, clan, and Chimera tended to be more attacking clan. Um, and so that blend sort of stabilized them a little bit, I guess, in relation to how they play. But they still are an aggressive, assertive team. Um, uh, the, um, uh, the way their play style actually works, they tend to be on the attack slightly more than defense. Uh, but they're not getting through this IR defense on this point. The um, Chimera guys are getting the defense right. And that's what's so impressive is their defense is just absolutely brutal. Uh, I, I must admit as a, uh, you know, a commander type player myself, uh, I would find this quite challenging uh, against this Chimera team as it plays right now. And uh, we now start to see uh, yet again the same attempted push down the bottom here with the same sorts of uh, results here. So Chimera will get through there. They'll probably come across a tank. There'll probably be lots of death and dismemberment. Uh, there'll be some IR players sneaking down the train line. Gosh, they've enjoyed going down that train line. There's another push over the top right there at the 2 o'clock position. Um, and, uh, yeah, so that's interesting as well. So, um, yeah, the the IR team are trying. They are trying. There's 31 minutes to go, so there's still plenty of time here for any team to win this outright. Uh, or even you know, recap 3-2 to IR's favour or whatever. Who knows? But Chimera have got the front foot. They are ahead of the game compared to uh, IR. So that's what's happening at the moment. That's where we're at with 31 minutes to go. If we try and take a look at the map and see where it's at, look at the players everywhere right now. It's just a huge blob of stuff. But what is important is that all of these garrisons and OPs are no longer lit up, which means IR are not pushing uh, into this area anymore, or Chimera have shut that down. That gives Chimera a chance now to get some people out to the front here. I'm not getting anything off that other stream, folks, so I'm uh, I'm just going to shut that one down, and we won't uh, we won't look at maps or anything there. It is about 15, 20 minutes behind where I'm at, so you know there's still a delay there, and and it's just going to be too confusing for me to work out. Um, so we're just going to go with what we got here, which is the single stream, the single view. And at the moment, it's 3-2 Chimera. There's lots of big kills. There's a tank pushing in now that we talked about before. 
and it's exactly what I expected to happen here. Chimera have been closed off again by the IR-10. That's only a 75, though, so it's not big. That 76 is pushing him. Oh, here's a play. There's a Stuart there as well. Wait a minute. Now, that Stuart's dead, but the 76s are coming out to play. That's a pair of 76s. What's their intel like? That's the question. Up the top here, Panther is pushing as well. They, everybody knows about everybody there. There's tank barrels pushing out, pointing off in the right directions. They know, the Panther knows there's something down there. He's looking, he's seeing, he's saying, stop the fucking tank, I want to shoot it. Can he see it? 76 is going to wear one in the ass. They have, no, they haven't seen it. The angles are going to be wrong. And that 76 is going to get away down the road there without this Panther seeing it. Boy, this is going to get real interesting real quick. And there's a shot from the top. Someone else shot him back. The Panther now looking, trying to work out where anybody is. Put some machine gun fire in. Now they know there's a Panther up there. IR could probably turn their 76 around. Their pair of 76s, which are just there. You can see the shot there. So we got the... Um, oh, uh, this could be brilliant or disastrous for this Panther. It's shooting. Someone's shooting at something. Over here in the middle, there's another Panther sneaking out. This is tanks versus tanks. 2v2. Shit, I've got to get over the right over the top here to see this. So down at the 7 o'clock position, there's a Panther. Uh, there is a 76 there, middle of screen. There's a 76 reversing at the 1 o'clock. There's a Panther at the 3 o'clock. And there was a Satchel as well on something. And that was on the point, I think. And Chimera now starting to contest the two Panthers pushing forward. The 76, one's turning and going back to the point. The other one's reversing. This is tight. Oh, who's going to see whom first? The 76 is reversing up the side of the building. I think the Panther's going to be... Well, when he comes up over that stuff, he's going to bop up into the air and the tank gunner might be offset. He's missed. He's missed. He's shot something. The Panther's been smacked in the face. He's got to get one off in reverse. There's his first. They're going to wear it. They're going to wear it and die. Hell's got to get a repair on, but I don't think it's going to happen. Oh, it's a kill! The other 76 is there. The Panther's looking. The other Panther's coming in. If the Chimera team get the drop on the second 76, Butter Dog's pushing in on it. Oh, the Panther wears another one to the face. Butter Dog's on that tank. Rocket to the bum of the Panther. Butter Dog's got a satchel down. Butter Dog's got a satchel down. There's the tank shooting. That's that tank gone. Panther down. One each. Panther pushing up. Turn the turret. Is he looking? There it is. What's he missed? He missed. He missed. Satchel. Satchel. Where's that satchel? That's the first hit. Chimera going to lose two tanks. Is the satchel there? There is the satchel. Three, two, one. Boom. Four tanks down. Chimera overconfident there pushing that panther up. And a terrible first shot. They should have backed off. They should have backed that tank out of there. But they were getting shot in the ass. Where do you go? Oh, I mean, I would have preferred to take the rockets in the bum than the 76 to the face. So that was two for two in tanks. Chimera have got another a Panzer IV coming up. IR have got people up here now. But Chimera now on the point. They're on the point and those tanks are all dead. And that's what they've been waiting for for literally... 40 to 50 minutes is trying to get those tanks out of there. They have finally done that. And it means that Chimera are in with a shot of taking a four cap here. They are absolutely in with a shot of taking a four cap. There's a big kill as well. Look at this. Around the back of this next tank coming in now. It's 75. No, 76. 76. So it's sending another one in. Oh, a little bit of rubber band there. What the hell happened? Where's my ping? 296. Oh, okay, we're up in the high numbers now, folks. You can see some of the ping there. Let's get back and have a look at that. That tank knew they were there. Those boys pulled out of that. Mavs didn't shot down on there. Chimera trying on the point here. There's a big artillery coming in. Tanks shooting backwards, thinking there's still people there. Those guys were too smart for that. They pulled out. Chism and uh, Panic are pushed around. Kanashi's on the point there. Probably satcheling. Kanashi pushing in right now. No satchel that I can see. Here's his satchel. He thinks something's in there. I don't hear a... He's put a satchel in. He's going to run out of there. Good play from Kanashi. Going to try and find... Um, here's the cap starting to happen. That was the cap starting to happen there. Chimera had some numbers. Kanashi's going to go and try and hide in the building. 
He's just seen a tank coming in now. He'd be pissed he doesn't have his satchel anymore. He's going to go back and get it, I reckon. Is he? The tank's now shooting buildings. Kanashi or oh, artillery hit something just then. Kanashi pushing away from the satchel. It's just about to go off, I reckon. Yep, here it goes. Three, two, one. Boom, two. Two IR players down off that one. But that tank's nice and close. It hasn't been touched, I don't think. Diesel has nothing it can do to it. Tism, nothing he can do to it. Can actually no weapons to shoot at it. Loop is pushing in. He'll have a satchel for it. It's a two-person tank, that one, as well. Good play there from all teams. Uh, the tanks, though, I think could have been done better from both teams. Uh, I think, um, yeah, I, I just... Both teams there could have done better with those tanks. But that's the way it rolls sometimes, isn't it? Here's that cap starting to happen from Chimera. I are now understanding they're in a bit of trouble. They'll get the spawn wave in, of course, and that will mean that... Uh, look at the spawn. It's fucking dead people. That will mean the cap stops for a while, but Chimera on the point. And that means that with all of these people from IR, look at all the strip there. Right across the middle of the screen, there's about almost the entire IR team. That means all momentum on uh, Town Centre will be lost, and it gives Chimera a chance to to maybe pull back some of those troops. I tell a lie. You know what? IR's like, fuck this. We can hold this. Send some people in. And they've done it, and they've done it well. They've got people in the back, and Chimera have left the back door open completely wide open here folks absolutely that's fine there's two squad leaders that's a full set of squads coming in if they want it to all the, the chimera players are in a big circle around the point no one on the point vk now is probably getting some radar lights yes he is on town center now we see the cap it's contested chimera are now waking up to the fact that they have left the point wide open and uh, even with all that good defense, they've now suddenly got the door open. VK is going to have a look. Someone just got shot at the front there. VK is looking and seeing what he can see. He's got his eyes up. He's checking. He's got someone straight in front of him. He's not even looking. He was running with map open for sure. He's being knocked off. And that is a great spawn here. IR have absolutely cracked open the Chimera defense. Chimera now doing their surge, of course. And it's still not enough. Because those three players right now on the point are counting for nine. Four players on the point counting for nine people. Twelve people even. So Chimera are well short and they've got all the IR coming in at the back here. And they are in trouble, folks. This is a great play from IR. They've hung on, hung on, hung on. And it has paid off. Those tanks on the point held on long enough. And there's still a tank there. 50% capped here. IR with all the work to do. IR, big trouble. IR need to fix something up here quickly. Here's all the squad leaders coming in. Here's the big spawn from Chimera. They need to fix this. They are in way over their heads right now on the point. It's going to be probably about balancing out shortly. IR now surging in the front door as well. Oh, this is a disaster for Chimera. They're running a rocketeer, a rocketeer, a tank in now. Panther's coming in as well. Uh, they haven't even looked to the north there. And they've got people chasing them. Chimera are going to lose this. One in the bum for the Panther. Chimera have got, they've, they've held. Is there anything happening there? They've got stuff going on. I just saw something interesting there. Push ruins, quick all ops and go down. No, Panic tried to get something happening there. It didn't happen. Uh, look at this stuff from IR. They are surging onto the point and they are still capping. Chimera, huge trouble. They are going to lose so much stuff here. The recon's ready to go from IR. They're already pushing. Chimera are now throwing their entire team back here. It's just enough at the moment. It's just enough at the moment. They have they got down to 80% cap. And remember, folks, remember, the moment VK said, hey, I need some people back, it takes about a minute for people to respond, redeploy, and then deploy on the actual garrison that they come in on. And it's about 40 seconds on average, this is, for the OP. So if the cap was already like, a, uh, you know, starting to fall there and VK said, hey, I need, I need two squads back straight away, it would take up to a minute for them to come back. And that's a long time in a two-minute cap cycle. Here's a bombing run coming in now. I haven't seen one of them yet, actually. In this, Isn't that fascinating? That's a, that's a brilliant IR bombing run. It's actually picking up the Chimera spawn points. Can it, can it do damage up there? Absolutely. Look what it just did. It ripped apart the Chimera defense up there, and IR are actually now recapping again. It's one-third to go for them. 
Chimera, huge problems. VK has worked out where they're coming from. He's trying desperately to get around there. He's, he's doing very well, actually. VK's managed to kill all those people. But Von Luck's sweeping in from the other side. Uh, they haven't found where this spawn yet is, though. I think there's a spawn in here somewhere. Maybe Von Luck found it. Not sure, folks. Just watching to see what comes in. I think it'll be locked by now. Oh, VK. A Von Luck wears a grenade to the face. I think it might have been his own. The point's almost gone. The point's almost gone. Chimera. Chimera. All the work to do. Straight goes in. Doesn't kill them. Chimera. About to lose it. My finger's on the button. There it goes. IR have taken with 20 minutes to go. They have taken the point. They need to slap down a garrison quick smart. Chimera left the back door open there and absolutely wrecked themselves by leaving that open like it did. And now we're back to this slugfest. This is going to be tough for Chimera to pull this back. It is absolutely going to be tough. The Panthers ta playing tag with a the tank there. It's got one to the face already. It's going to die. It is going to die. The 76 has got the drop. Bam! Panther down, folks. So that Panther was completely unsupported there. It's been shot. 19 minutes to go. Chimera in a world of trouble here. They've even got IR pushing the next point. IR spearing up the road here. They've gone on the counterattack quickly here, and they've run two squads straight up. They've given no fucks about the full defense on uh, Town Center. They reckon they can do a 1-2 here, and they've pushed two full squads up there on the Customs, and that's starting to cap in a moment, I reckon, as well. Chimera have got to pull everybody back as quick as possible. They have done that, but they're still too far out from the point. Oh, God, I don't know if Chimera can take this back, but they are contesting at least. They've just lost their Panther on the point. Wow, folks, what a way to finish this battle after the big roll in the middle. This is now, there's a Luke's, an angry Luke's there shooting at shit. Uh, it's put a few rounds into the front of something there. You can see it now We're with Pell, and uh, he's going to have to try and pull out of there. That's a 76 down below us. Not sure. Oh, that Luke's just wore it to the face. Chimera now staying the cap again. Gang's coming around the back here. May be able to get to their spawn here. What was it that they had, I wonder? That's a shot. He's going to get some shots off. That's two down. There's the Chimera bombing run. This is this is going to be time. And this bombing run, where's it go? Where's it come across? Straight across the point. Seeing if they could pick up a garrison, I guess. Did they get the garrison down here? If they put one up, not sure. Gang's going to wear that, unfortunately, for him. Uh, that was uh, VK just working out where their swarm was. Chimera not capping yet. IR still got numbers. There's still a spawn there. They were still able to get people in. Wow, what a fascinating turn of events this was. I just didn't think IR were going to move on him. And then I saw that hole in the back and I thought, oh, VK, what are you doing? And he has left the door open. His team have left the door open with all of that good defense. It's all for naught when you leave a door open like that. And now IR, look at the numbers. The garrison was not picked up. There it is. I thought there was one down here. It is. See if VK picks this up. Is that a precision strike? It is a precision strike on where a tank was. It is now no longer there. No, it is. He hit it. He did not damage it. Jam's on it. Jam's on it. He's going to get shot. He's putting one down. He's putting two down. Panic's coming in. They're all over this, this tank crew. The tank crew's got one person left. Jam's going to wear it in the face, probably. He's running away. He's being missed. Panic's going to put a satchel in. That's going to make a difference there. But this garrison here, this is the one, folks. Just there. Right there. In case you didn't see it already. That is the garrison that VK and the team from Chimera have to get rid of. And they're not doing it at the moment. They are not doing it. And it's 16 minutes to go. Chimera would be panicking a little bit right now. Because this is... You know, IR have had learned the lesson of their loss of defense on Town Center. And they did not make that mistake again on Ruins. They they did not let Chimera push through there. And now... Chimera in the world of hurt trying to crack open this defense from... Uh, sorry, I've got the wrong fucking score up there. Um, wrong uh, wrong score. It's 2-3. Uh, and and I, I look at these surges that are coming in. There's right on the point as well. So somebody, VK, can see that. There's a big explosion. That's a tank that just died. That satchel. Was it a satchel? No, it was just a tank round. Is there a satchel on this tank? I think it's gone. I think it's gone. No, there's no satchel there. Oh, boy, there's two tanks here, two 76s. Are there any tanks from Chimera? One, two coming up now. There's a half track down the bottom here to help them out. They've got plenty of people around it, but they cannot cap this at the moment. 15 to go, folks. This is an exciting finish for the semifinals. Chimera versus IR. 
Palmeira took the center point here, town center, after the first 10 minutes or so, held it for ages, pushed on to uh, IR's ruins defense a couple of times, did not crack that open. And then about five minutes ago, IR managed to break the back door open of Chimera or just walk straight through it and uh, came in with a huge surge. Palmeira defended for ages there, but eventually lost. And now we see the IR guys and girls with, well, not the best defense at the moment. They've, they're thinning out a bit. Chimera are doing good stuff. But look at Chimera's spread. The, 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 the squad spread is, well, I don't know. I don't know. Something to think about there, I guess. Uh, you can see that, you know, one, one got shot there and others are trying to work out where they are. These guys are working together pretty well. Loop is pushing while the other one's defending. Oh, nice kill there. Nice kill there. That's good work. That's the type of combined arm stuff you need. Big explosions going on here, though, at the moment. That tank, those tanks. There's the artillery coming in. Torque and Shadows coming in. Uh, Chimera sort of surging some numbers through the back there. IR coming out to clear them out. Chimera around the back with Kadesh and Jinx. Got to try and clear out their spawn points. 14 minutes to go. Big trouble here for Chimera. Unless they can do something, those tanks shouldn't be too far off. Where are they? Anyone see movement? And yeah, we'll check again quickly. Yep, there we are. Just up to the right here. And up to there. Okay. So, they will make the difference. Chimera probably biding their time, getting their tanks up ready for a push together. IR are not... Well, we'll take a quick look up here. Remember it is... It is not this one here. It is this one over here that, you know, they have to get to. And the defense is solid up here. Um, at the moment, it's good enough. The Chimera are holding him up up here. And if, if IR are attacking there, that's good for Chimera. It is good for Chimera. I need to try and push a different angle there. And they are. They're spreading their troops out to left and right. But Butterdog there is picking off some people. But this this two tank defense at the moment. There it is. Bam. That is a great kill there. Long range. Just saw it. That's one of the tanks down. I think it's a 76 that went. Has to be. There were two 76s on the point. That's the first one down. There's another one there as well. That was a long-range shot. Back there, you can see Jaeger and Vapo shot that one in. That's one tank down. The other 76 reversing. Big artillery at the moment. Getting lots of pings. Lots of kills. There is... That's on their head. That's a, uh, an ammo drop coming in. I haven't seen their head as well. 13 minutes to go. Restful stuff here, folks. IR holding as hard as they can. Chimera just starting to get the momentum into the point here. Look at Cheese and Bearded. They've got their Pell up into the building, the ever vital building. Goose has got to get there though. Goose in the window, keeping an eye out. Obs is starting to come in. Obs is starting to come in. He's been shot down. Goose has got him. This is better stuff from Chimera though. They've got some numbers around. The tank's still holding cap. <laughs> Fat sacks taking the piss out of me. Good show, good show, sir. Good show. But it's that garrison at the back there, feeding that point. And look at this: the tank, the second tank coming in. So they're back to two tanks on the point. Uh, Chimera have got to try and take out that garrison. Mugshot pushing around, seeing what he could do. Recon's gone up there from GoTrack to see what they can see. They'll have seen all, all of the stuff going on from the IR as they push in. Boy, you want to get... That, that artillery is brutal at the moment. It is taking out all the IR players on the point. But they've got to get rid of that garrison chimera. That is the thing. And they don't know it's there. VK tried to bomb it before. It didn't happen. Look at it. Look how many players it puts in. It just feeds in this huge stream of players. And then artillery comes in. There's the smoke. There's the rounds. One down the back. Here's the tank pushing now. There, they're seeing each other. Oh, that first, it's missed again. Vapo's tank has missed its shot. And it's taken one now. That's another miss. Oh, no, that is going to be a death of a panther, I reckon. And they've missed again. What are they shooting building? Actually, I don't think they even see that tank. There they do. That's not hitting the tank, though. It's hitting the wall. They're both hitting... They're both hitting. I'm getting fucking lag. Of course I am. That tank's been hit. Finally! Oh, boy. Oh, boy. That was lucky for both tanks there. Nobody died. 
Getting real bad lag here, folks. Yeah, we're up to 300 ping still. Still not not going very well. The stream's good. Still, bitrate's perfect. So, uh, but it's that one garrison right now. There's Aussie Shell Tet. He's, I don't even know what the rest of his name is, is repairing that tank. Vapo's repairing his tank. Smoke on the point now. Pell's starting to come in. All right, artillery can kill lights and damage heavies. Fat Sax has just given me that answer. Kill lights and damage heavies. All right, but it can't kill heavies, I'm guessing. It also, there's other things too, like the precision strike. You have to hit a garrison directly to kill it, or otherwise it won't kill it. And obviously that happens with tanks too, because we saw that before. Contested now, folks. Ten minutes to go. It's not enough yet. There's still enough IR, IR on there. And um, and look at let's what's happening. Let's see what's happening there. Um, we're going to zoom in a bit on this, I think. We're going to stay on this view for the rest of the match because there's not going to be much else happening here. Chimera, trying everything. They've got a half track up north now as well to see if that makes a difference. VK just got gunned down up there. Here's Jinx, President Tiz and Diesel. For both teams now, I think that was a, that was a tank on. That was a tank, was it? I think so. That is a smoke attack. So, oh, and the artillery on it. Now it's contested. This is what Chimera need right now. This is what Chimera need right now. A great tank play, killing off the IR tanks. Now the cap happens. Folks, nine minutes to go. Get on the edge of your seats. Get the goosebumps up right now. Chimera are now pushing it back. Chimera pushing back, but I have done that surge off of that garrison again. It's this south, it's this right-hand side. They have to try and push around the back and clear out that garrison. They're not doing it. The fucking lag is coming in for real. There's too much going on here for the computer to handle, apparently, which there really isn't. It's running fine. I don't know what this is. It's just server lag, I'm guessing, but it's very janky at the moment. But that Chimera push is just stopped by that spawn in off of the... Um, off of the... Uh, um, uh, 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 the garrison that we've been talking about. Here's the bombing run now. This would be the IR bombing run, I'm guessing. Yeah, there it is, around the back. IR putting a bombing run in. Maybe. Yes, it is. IR bombing run. Uh, okay. That's what's happening there at the moment. Now, that bombing run's going to go all the way across there. Chimera's still picking up. They've got stuff around the back here. This is really bad lag, by the way, folks. I'm sorry. It's not my... It's not me. It is not me. Uh, I don't know what's causing this. Nothing's downloading in the background. Uh, there looks like there's a fair bit of server lag at the moment. So, we, we're just going to watch this push. Chimera, eight minutes to go. Eight minutes to go. Why the hell would the server be lagging with eight minutes to go? Chimera, Mav just been shot down by Iceberg. Here's a precision strike. Some bad. Oh, did it get the garrison? Did it get the garrison? No, the artillery got it. But there's another spawn wave come in. 7.46 to go. 7.46 to go. Amazing stuff going on right now. Huge server lag right now. Big server lag. Look how janky that is. God, don't crash the game out now. Server. See if anyone's saying anything. Uh, no, no, no. Um, so here's another push around the back. It's that garrison. Red 6, Prowls and Cheesecake might get to it. They might get to it. That's the one we've got to watch. I'm not going to move the camera. It's too janky to, to move the camera at the moment. Uh, oh, so tight right now. Gar garrison, they're going to try and put a garrison down down the back here. Mavs just run past those supplies that have dropped in. Oh, it's tight. 6.58 to go. It's all or nothing right now for both teams. Semi-finals. Can Chimera crack open this, this defense of IR and take the point in the last dying minutes? Oh, this is going to go all the way, folks. This is going to go all the way. Let's get over the top and have a good look at it from here. This is such tight play. That's the garrison. That garrison is make or break for IR. Oh, someone's in it. Someone's on it. Someone got in on it. Hidden in shadows. Made the garrison. He's taken an MVP shot, but he's taken their garrison. And that's it. This will be the break. If Chimera have the numbers around now, there's no garrison for IR anymore. What through that defense at the front. Chimera surging. What a play! They're hidden in shadows, slumped through their lines and took out the garrison. And now I are in a world of trouble. There's the central that's gone down there as well. Chimera are going to cap this back, folks. 
I just genuinely believe Chimera are about to pick this in the last five minutes. We're at fifty percent. Something's flying over. It's gonna be a recon. Four of fours around the back pulling down OPs for Chimera. They've got to throw everything at this right now with 540 to go. There's still an OP in there where that other one was. Someone shooting someone in there. Uh, it's been a trade there. It's been a good trade. Actually, the one Chimera it's played took out three people and probably the OP as well. Butterdog and Kadashi are running down there now. Three quarters capped for Chimera. Five minutes, 20 to go. Here's Butterdog and Kanachi fighting off against that spawn that just came in. Kanachi's running away. He's been shot in the back. Oh, boy, oh, boy, oh, boy. So this, this, by the way, there's absolutely nothing wrong with the stream through OBS. It's running at 5,500 uh, bits. So it's just purely the server at the moment. Uh, nothing going on on my computer. Almost capped. Four minutes, 58 to go. Oh, boy. And there's artillery falling everywhere. Chimera are just getting the sector control back. I have been pushed out. Sweaty, sweaty stuff here, folks. Chimera about to take it back in the dying minutes of this match. It will be back to 3-2 to Chimera's favour. There's the cap now. They've got all the work to do to hold this. Four minutes, 38 to go. Can, can I uh, take it back off of Chimera in that time? Yes, they absolutely can. Are they able to do it? That's another question. 404 in position, waiting for spawns to come in. He's going to have something set up. We'll get in. No, he's been shot. He's been shot. Road Trooper, great defense around the back here. That's not an airhead form, by the way. That's just supplies at the moment. Jesus, they'd like to keep you on the edge of the seat, these guys. Four minutes, 15 to go. Chimera all over here. I are running around everywhere. All sorts of shit going on. We do not know what's happening here with the server, but we do know that it's a fight to the finish, ladies and gentlemen. IR are throwing everything at it from the south here at the moment. Jimmy, Mav, and Red Six and Go Trick are trying to defend this south flank where, Chimera, where, where IR are pushing in. Quick check of the tank situation. What have we got? Fuck all on the field, folks. It's down to the last minutes. They've probably just been pulled out. Yeah, they have. Look at that. I can see Kingsy in the middle of it all right now. Just fighting. That's all they're doing. It's infantry all the way, ladies and gentlemen. Here comes the IR wave. Chimera, got to hold this. Got to hold it. I don't even know what happens at time. It's whoever's got the control. I think I don't even know. I've never seen it get this tight before in one of these matches. This is what you want for semi-finals, folks. Three minutes, 24. Ism is a good band. Thank you, Maximus. To Maximus, thank you. You are correct. Love them. Bunch of school teachers, as far as I understand, too. There you go. All right. Uh, Prince trying to push up. They've got stuff here still. Oh, yeah. They have a chance. They can bring it back from here. But Chimera are throwing everything in there. Das Furor comes up against Old Mate with an engineer. Das Furor gets the better of that person. Red Six, Butterdog trying to defend down the south with the other crew here. Two minutes 50 to go. I think what happens is if it's under two minutes and uh, Chimera hold the point and it's, it's not being contested, then it's good. But it's whatever it is at the end. I just, I, there's no overtime in these matches. It's just... I don't think there's overtime. Is there? Fuck, I don't know anymore. Somebody tell somebody something. Two minutes 30 for Chimera. Sweaty stuff. Here's a bombing run coming in. That'll be going on the bottom here, I reckon. Yes, it is. Look at that. Absolutely where I expected it to be because the guys will have been saying, hey, they keep coming in over here. Can you please do something about that? This is the bombing run right now. There it goes. Oh, it's a bit higher than I thought. There's Lancer down there. They've picked up some stuff, though. That's great play, though, from Chimera. Straight across where that other spawn wave is. Picks up some more players. That's got to be game, folks. That has got to be game. Chimera can't lose this from here right now. That has to be game. There it is. GG, PT is free as called. He's seen it, and he knows it. And Chimera have held on. Oh, wow. What a match. For the semi-finals, what a match. Absolute top shelf stuff. Oh, it's now starting to smooth out a bit. Starting to smooth out a bit. There you go. So it's settled down. Whatever happened is gone now. Uh, Chimera left it open for IR to win. IR said, fuck it, we'll take that, thanks. And Chimera went, hang on a minute, that wasn't part of our battle plan. And they have fought for literally about 15, 16 minutes there to capture the point back. And they have done it. I said they were a good attacking squad. And they have shown that in this attack on IR's defense. They have managed 
to take that back. I are probably overextended there towards customs a bit too much. They should have put more effort into defending town centre, I think. They sent two full squads up to the north there. Maybe there was something in that in how they wanted to set that up. But I think that was it was remiss of them. They didn't consolidate. If you think about town centre as a circle, all right, we're right over the middle of the whole circle right now, pretty much. Have a look at it. Um, we'll get something going on here. Look at this. See if I can see that. Yeah, you can see my pointer. So around the whole circle here, uh, up around this way, all around here. I've just got rid of the sound for a sec there. Sorry about that. Up around, all the way around there. That is the circle of town center. So you've got to get all of that zone controlled uh, so that you can't have people coming in and pushing on your middle of the city. So there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, roughly eight ways to come in there. And uh, IR overextended there and did not defend that well enough. So they have now lost that match. Victory to Comera 3-2. But what a what a match. I'll get rid of that bloody header stuff. And let's give it to... Who are we going to give it to? Wait. I know. Who? Where is he? Hidden in shadow. Snuck his way in, folks. Don't know. His squad would have been helping him, of course. But he got in there. And he got that garrison. And it was that garrison that changed the battle into Chimera's favour. I'm exhausted. I'm exhausted after that. That was a big... Big match. I got promoted. That's how exhausted I was. Um, holy shit bags. Folks, what a play. What a play. I are uh, commiserations on that one. I don't even know what happens now. So that was the semi final. So Comera go through the final, I'm guessing. I don't think they play anymore. Uh, and they'll go against. Um, we'll have a look at that in a sec, won't we? Uh, probably, well, whoever wins the other semi final which I uh, don't even know when that is. So there you go. I seem to know nothing. Well, I'll look at all that stuff in a second. Check out your top players. Check out your favorite players. Check out anybody that you want to watch. Come back and pause the stream later on. Have a look at it. Um, look at some of those numbers there, though, folks. Isn't that amazing stuff? Let's go down and have another look here. Uh, IR, of most of their guys have left now, unfortunately. So you don't get to see all of those. That Nobbers guy, he was pretty shit. Did nothing but uh, defend for the whole match. So hmm. anyway... What a match. Commiserations, as I said, to IR. They they tried their guts out, and they were just outplayed. The Chimera defense, except for that one slip-up, was the shit, though. They really, really did have their stuff going. So we'll get across to the main screen. Wait that to come up. Okay. Oh, I've got the map up. Get rid of that. So that was it, folks. Let's have a look at the majors and minors tables again now. Actually, we'll get rid of the majors. So... Remember, Sesh will be playing probably GXV, I think. Uh, and I just want to bring up, I'm looking over on another screen here, sorry. Uh, it is the G GXV versus Sesh. And I have the result for you. So I want you to close your ears right now if you don't want to hear the result of the GXV versus Sesh match. In five seconds, I'll tell you who won it. Five, four, three, two, one. It was GXV. They beat Sesh 3-2. You can check that out on Pepper or EL. So GX5 and Chimera will be the ones that are going against each other. All right. We'll leave it a second or two, and there we go. So we have we've we know what's happened there. What a match, folks. All right. I'm going to call it there. I will catch up with you next stream that I do. Hopefully um, you come back and join me. Uh, it's been fun. It's been absolutely fantastic to watch that. Uh, I'll do a raid if there's someone to raid in 30 minutes. Otherwise, thanks very much. Take care. What a match. Well done, Chimera. Commiserations, IR. Good night. Goodbye for now.